what's up everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video if you are new here my name is Tikwa if you aren't welcome and welcome back I first wanted to start off um, this video and this month and series of videos talking about the benefits of vlogmas today is Friday December 1st I'm not gonna lie it has been a long work day so I am squeezing um, this video in between me giving myself a break there and I'll eventually go back to work but this week I've been brainstorming some ideas and some things and you know just to help you along your way if you're thinking about doing vlogmas as a small youtuber it is um, something that you really have to ponder on and think about if you want to participate in vlogmas I myself am a small youtuber I do not receive any monies from YouTube I do get emails for small promos but I've never actually um, engaged in doing promos on my channel because I still want to build up my audience however as a small youtuber who has less than a thousand subscribers and who works a full-time job so working a full-time job is already a handful in and of itself finding the time to do vlogmas meaning finding the time to post a video to your youtube channel or to your social media site on a daily basis is no easy fight it is not easy it takes dedication it takes discipline it definitely takes motivation drive determination to get all of that done so i want to first say kudos to you if you've clicked on this video if you are a small youtuber and you have decided to take the jump and try to do vlogmas on your channel there are a few things that i wanted to share with you all about the benefits of doing vlogmas as a small youtuber so i jotted down some notes i have it here i think there are three benefits um to doing vlogmas as a small youtuber one it increases your channel's visibility two it increases your creativity and three it increases your production value and i'm going to go into each one of those um thoughts and each one of those ideas the first one that it increases your channel visibility i often say that posting to your channel is the heartbeat of your channel i have found on my own channel that times when i've been more consistent when i've posted on a more consistent basis when i've actually thought out my content and had a strategy and game plan maybe for you know videos for the month or if it was videos surrounded by a specific topic i've done two big topics on my channel that i saw an influx of um, subscribers and engagement and activity um, and those two big things that I've done have been purchasing my home and going through the IVF journey. So with those two main things in my life, I already kind of had footage because I was documenting the process in both of those situations. And I just planned them out in such a way on my channel where I was telling the story of what was going on through those processes. So I had the content, I was able to you know, decide on my own what was best as far as my posting schedule. I believe in both instances, I posted once every three days. And just that consistency, that storytelling, that giving people the ability to tap into you and then follow along on the journey along your story was an amazing way that I gained subscribers. Going back to that first point that um, doing Vlogmas, posting daily on your channel, posting daily on your site, is gonna increase your channel's visibility because posting is the heartbeat of your channel. The more you post, the more consistent you are. And of course, you want to bring quality content. You can't just post you know, a video staring at you, you know, the camera staring at you. But if you have something to share, if you have something valuable that people believe in, they will tune in and they will ultimately tap in and join in with you subscribing to your channel so constantly posting being consistent on your YouTube channel it increases the possibility and the likeliness that YouTube begin to will begin to push your videos your content out on its platform which ultimately will increase your visibility um, increases I wrote here increases the chances that someone will come across your video so it increases the chances that YouTube again will push your video out on the platform more people will see your videos 
and then they will there will be a likely a greater chance of them actually um clicking onto one of your videos seeing if they like the content sometimes people don't immediately subscribe sometimes people will watch a few videos before they say ah oh, this is a person that i really want to um tap into and they will subscribe so that's one thing it increases your channel visibility also it increases your individual creativity now Again, I'm talking about someone who has a already have a job, a nine to five. You're not working with a lot of time, a lot of hours in the day to really um, do a lot. So let's think about it. When we're posting, we are actually um, filming the content. We have to edit the content and then we have to upload the content and we have to give it a thumbnail. We have to give it a cover sheet. So we have to create a thumbnail. We have to give it a decent title for it to be searchable. Um, so all of that, after you've worked your nine to five and give or take, you've got other responsibilities around your home, such as taking care of your family. Some people are going to school. Some people are in extracurricular activities. It's just a lot going on and you may not have a lot of um, disposable time in the day, meaning time that you just really don't have much to do with. So you got to be strategic. But in that need, that necessity to be strategic, it will push you to be creative. And what I mean by that is you can bring life to your videos with a few things. One, music, music change, you know, using different music in your videos or even B-roll footage. You know, B-roll footage is a great way to shape in a story that you're telling via visual um, changes in the angles or the scenes, the views. You can even do a portion of your video that has a voiceover. So it's as if it's the, the voice that's in your mind thinking, and then you have the voice in real time, the voice of the actual video. Um, you can change the speed. So you can slow down the speed on some of your takes to make it a little bit more dramatic. You can speed it up if you want to show people what you're doing, but you don't necessarily want them to sit through, you know, like let's say you're doing a process of cleaning up. They don't actually have to watch the whole process but they can see tad bits here and there that will paint the picture of what you are doing so it, it increases your creativity when you want to bring something different out of a specific uh, scene or time or moment in your life and then the last thing is that it increases your production value and what I mean by production value is you start to gain a system when doing Vlogmas um, to help you be successful. And what I mean by that is you'll start saying, well, when is my best time to edit? When is my best time to create thumbnails? When is my best time to film? You know, you'll start thinking about your week ahead of time and say, okay, I got two things that I'm doing this week. I'm going out with my friends you know, to have a Christmas dinner and I'm also meeting up with my family and we're going to play games. So you already kind of can shape in how you're going to mold those days, how you're going to show and portray those days in your video. It increases your thoughts behind the actual production. And even when it comes to editing, I found last year when doing Vlogmas that even in Final Cut Pro, where I would kind of do a elementary edit, you know, I learned shortcuts. I learned how to copy, paste, cut I learned different um, intros and different outros it just increased my production value overall so I would definitely say that there are benefits to doing vlogmas as an individual content creator if you desiring to again like I have a lifestyle channel my channel is about me showing my life but everyone's life is pretty mundane unless you're doing something like over the top, like going on vacation, going across seas, you know, doing something different. But for the most part, when you're just waking up, going to work, coming home, cleaning up, cooking dinner, it could seem mundane, but you could bring flavor to that. You can bring character to that. Um, there's times some of my best videos have been when I'm just cooking a Sunday dinner and just me showing, going through the process of cleaning the meat, cooking the meat, preparing the sides. I mean, people have really enjoyed that type of content, which I believe helps to bring, again, character and it helps to shape it and mold the story that you're going to tell about your videos during Vlogmas. So the next part of this video, I want to talk to you guys about how to accomplish and be successful in participating in Vlogmas. So the first thing I want to say is you got to plan your presentation. You got to brainstorm the topics that you want to present. You want to develop a process 
and you want to strategize your posting schedule. I'm going to go through each one of those. First, the planning of your presentation, right? So you want to plan out your content, right? Your video topic theme and your possible video titles and thumbnail layout. The first one is thumbnail layout. You want to be congruent. You want it to look in sync. There are some channels that every day or every video, the font is different, the colors are different. You know, they may have a three horizontal photo. Sometimes they'll come up with, you know, um, one photo in the middle, like most of my videos, and then four boxes on four photos on the outside of that. Um, some people will have just one, their main thumbnail is just one main flat picture. Um, you want to have some congruency because when someone comes to your channel, part of your channel's attractiveness is the congruency of it. Does it flow? Does it look like your videos are all in sync, like they're all telling a story, you know, or does it kind of look like your videos just by the thumbnail alone? because the thumbnail is ultimately the cover of your video like a book cover and you want to have some congruency with your thumbnails last year I came up with one main thumbnail theme now I changed the layout of my thumbnail so sometimes it will be one full picture sometimes it would be three pictures two pictures but I kept most of the um, font and how I wanted my presentation I kept it consistent and I'm gonna even, you know, reuse it because I really loved that concept and the thumbnail usage that it had last year. So you want to be congruent. Um, I did look up an article. It's on BuzzFeed.com that says that your thumbnail increases your channel's engagement by 154%. So viewers are more likely to see your video thumbnail first before they even read your video's titles. So you want to have again. You want to have pleasing, you want to have clear words, you want to have it, um, you know, sometimes you want your thumbnail to have a little bit more character than what your video title will have. And that's one thing, your thumbnail layout and planning. Two, your video titles. So the title of your video is very important because when people are searching YouTube for a specific topic, a theme, a type of video, your video is considered based upon the keywords that you put in the um, in the video title, right? So you don't want to make your video titles too personal. You want to make them general. So instead of saying, you know, my my 35th birthday bash, you want to say something like, you know, I, you know, throwing the best 35th birthday party ever because that's general. Someone who is about to, who's 34, who's about to thir turn 35, they're going to rather click on something saying, oh, how, you know, thinking in their mind, well, I want to gain some ideas on how I can, you know, create a nice 35th birthday bash versus saying, oh, I don't really care about her 35th birthday bash you know so you want to make your video titles very general and less personal and sometimes it starts off with the video title being personal when you're brainstorming but then you take those same themes and topics and instead of you know placing yourself in it make that video title very general and generic for YouTube searchability and then also your video topic and your video theme now depending on how many days you choose to post during vlogmas you know you can strategize you know some people do 25 days up until christmas some people do 30 days for the entire month and some people do 12 days because you know you think about the 12 days of christmas so some people do 12 days my very first time attempting to do vlogmas i in my heart i wanted to do 25 days in reality i pumped out 12 videos that was two years ago last year same thing in my heart I said, oh, I can try my best to do 25 videos. However, when I added them up, I ended up posting about 18 um, videos. So depending on your, your your how many times you want to post, you can strategize. And that strategy is going to also come up with this um, next point that I want to bring up to you guys. And that is brainstorming your topics. Brainstorming your topics. So I would suggest that you come up with five or six different topics that you're interested in presenting, right? So if we think of some topics that I jotted down here, right, you can do decorating, you can do food, you can do day in the life, you can do home resets, you can do life talks. 
Um, and when I think of these topics, these are specific to things that I've done. So there was one year that I did a few life talks where I just talked about things going on in my life. When I took, when I jot down some topics, which you should do, jot down some like five or six topics that you closely relate to. Then let's say you're going to do 25 videos or you plan to do 25 videos. Then what you can also do is let's say those 25 videos, you divide them up into Let's say you divide it up into five topics. So that is five topics. You're going to come up with five videos per topic. There goes your 25 topics. Now, you may say, how am I going to get five videos from one topic? How am I going to get, how, what am I going to talk about five videos on one specific theme? Well, you can if you just sit down and you think about it. So let's talk about food. Let's say one of my topics for Vlogmas is going to be food because we all have to eat, right? Yes, we all, most people like to eat, right? Yes. So with the, the topic or the theme of food, you can do a shopping haul. So you can do like a Christmas shopping haul where you are going to Christmas shopping or if you were going to throw a party, you can go like preparing for the party and go to your super, your local supermarket. You can go to your local um like um discount stores you can do like i did a bj shopping when um, my husband and i had a christmas party last year so one video around food is you could do a shopping haul right another one is that you can do a dinner date with your family or with your significant other where you are recording the night out at a nice restaurant that you go to and it may seem like i'm going to do a whole video about that but if you get creative again with your music with your b-roll you can show yourself getting ready for the night you can show you know driving to the event you can show the outside of the restaurant you can show a display of the menu you can show your appetizers you can show everyone you know receiving their drinks maybe you want to do a toast i mean you could show just mere conversation that's going on as a part of the you know interaction that you're having for the night you can show everyone's meal you can just you know you can show people enjoying the meal there are so many ways that you can create a video and put some depth to that video so that people can really it'll really shape in that video and people can really see and feel as if they're right there with you in that video all right, another video around food is cooking. You can cook a new recipe. You can cook your average recipe. You could cook a Sunday's dinner. You can um, cook, um, you could say, oh, this is a new dessert that I want to try out. You know, you can do some baking. You can do cooking. You could try new drinks, you know, around the holiday seasons. There's so many new drinks that, you know, say you want to do, again, if you're having a party or if you're having friends over, you can just have like, a drink thing where you just try out different drinks that can all be a video wrapped around food you can also do again i did one year starbucks trying all of their holiday drinks you can do something like that go into one store like let's say dunkin donuts or starbucks and you can try all of their holiday drinks now and though in that case it's going to cost you some extra money because that wouldn't be something you would normally do just go in a store and just buy four or five different drinks um so i don't recommend doing something that's going to be too costly However, you, if you really brainstorm, you can come up with like five or six different topics and you could come up with five or six um, different video ideas wrapped around that topic. Also, let's think about decorating. This year, I mean, this season, everyone is really focused on decorating. You can do decorating your kitchen, your living room, your bedroom. You can do, you know, Christmas decor. You can decorate your patio outside, your porch. Um, you can do a video about wrapping gifts. You can do a video specifically about putting your tree up. I mean, just around Christmas decor, I can run off maybe five or six different video themes and topics that you can come up with. So if you want to strategize on how you're going to really succeed and be successful during Vlogmas, I would come up with five topics that you know are you know dear and dear to your heart. You could do day in the lives. Um, you could do recess or if you just want to talk about issues in life, you know, at this time at Christmas, not everybody's happy and jolly. Some people are depressed. People are reminded of their loved ones that are no longer here with them. Some people are in small families. Some people don't have family that they can go to or have any family that they can cling to. So sometimes the holidays aren't a cheerful time. So, you know, you can do some life talks just talking about 
um, you can do one like talking about the reason for the season that it's really about gratitude and Thanksgiving and it's a you know Christmas time is the end of the year you're wrapping up the year you're looking forward to the new year so there's so much that you have to offer if you want to do life talks because people are looking for that encouragement they're looking for that you know that push and that drive that there's more for them you know there's more out there for them and that you can, you know, you can sprinkle that in on your channel, which I plan to do. Um, and then also you want to develop a process. Now, for me, because during the day, most of the time, depending on the content, I'm either working or I am filming if, say, it's a weekday and my husband and I are out and we're just running tasks, that's all recording time. So the best time for me is to edit early in the morning. So most of the time, if I'm working from home, I wake up at 5.30 anyway. I don't start my work day to 8. So I'll use that 5.30, 6 o'clock hour till maybe about 7, 7.30 to do most of my editing. I try to have a simple for most videos that are like moving and I'm going here and there and doing different things. I try to have simple edits. Um, if it's a straight sit down video such as this, it's easier to edit. Um, but I use the morning times to edit and gather all the footage and the daytime to kind of plan out what I want to do or I'm recording during the daytime. Um, I'm also using my lunch hour, my break sometimes after I walk my dog. I use that time to just maybe strategize thumbnails or start taking pictures that for the thumbnail that I want to um, post for that day or for that video. So you want to develop a process and the process that works for you. If you say you want to do 12 videos, then you can kind of dedicate a whole day, if you can, after work to maybe doing some filming. Maybe you can do some sit downs. You can, you know, do two or three sit down talks, you know, in an evening. And then you can maybe use the next day to edit and then the next day to post. It's up to you. It's your channel. It's your expression of who you are to your audience on your channel. So you can just do what's best for you and what works best for you. But you do want to develop a process. And the last thing, which I kind of touched on, is strategizing your posting schedule. Because back to the first point I made, I believe posting is the heartbeat of your channel. So you want to be strategic with your posting schedule and you want to stick to your posting schedule. If you decide that you want to post every other day, every day, every two days, three days, four days, stick to that. Because you're going to see some amazing um you're gonna see results from that. You just from your consistency, from your congruency, just from people being able to relate with you and rely on you. And they're gonna be looking for that next topic, that next point, that next part of the story that you're telling. They're gonna be, they're gonna become engaged and interested in following you along this journey in the month of December. Actually, I just wanna say that last year I did participate in Vlogmas. Again, I did not post all 25 days. I ended up posting 18 days. But I have to say that I saw major results. I have one video specifically that I posted. I posted it just like I did every other video, not knowing what would happen. I edited it just like I did every other video. And this one video, and I'm gonna put the thumbnail here on the screen, and I'm gonna show you the stats for that video. But this one video alone got me um, 998 views, so almost 1,000 views. It got me 53 hours of watch time, which is a lot of watch time for one video. 53 hours. And that one video alone gained me 20 subscribers. Now, will those subscribers engage with other content? Because that one was specifically around decorating for Christmas, decorating my home. Um, so will though, you know, who knows those subscribers could have been interested in how I decorate it and want to see more decorating. Some subscribers would have, you know, liked my personality and liked the things that I did. And so they subscribe for that. Does that one video and that one success mean overall success? Not really, but it does give you that visibility. It puts you out there. It gets you that exposure so that you can gain more subscribers. So who knows, maybe one day you can gain a profit and earn revenue from your channel. You never know. Um, in the beginning, my channel was specifically about an expression of me, an expression of who I am and who Tikva was. So that one day when I'm no longer here, 
my family, my friends could look back and say, this is who Tikwa was. But guess what? In the process, it doesn't hurt if you can gain some revenue from it. It doesn't hurt, right? So give it a try. Give it a shot. Give it your all. Come up with a strategy. Plan your presentation. Brainstorm your topics. Develop a process. And I promise you, it'll all be worth it in the end. I hope the tips that I share with you and the stories that I share with you helped you to know that doing Vlogmas as a small YouTuber is totally, totally, totally worth it. Worth the effort, worth the time, worth the sacrifice. Again, you just gain visibility. You start meeting new people. You start engaging with a new crowd. You really start to gain a separate family, your internet family, through your YouTube channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I do plan to participate in Vlogmas this year. I kind of have a different strategy to how I want to do my videos, which I'll share in another video. But until next time and until next video, happy Vlogmas to all of you. I pray that you all have a great December and that you start wrapping up and start thinking about how you want your new year to look so that you can start strategizing and planning for the best 2024 ever. Until next video. Bye.